This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Riyad Mahrez plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. <laughs> this is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, I must say this looks promising, De Jong, big chance, and they scored, first goal in this season's UEFA Champions League final. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Manuel Akanji. Well, he's got to be disappointed with that pass. And he's through here. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Silva. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And in with a real chance. Closing down well. Great block again. Riyad Mahrez. De Bruyne now. And space here on the flank. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Well, beating his opponent. Holland could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back.
Let's have a look at the replay. What a through ball this is by Haaland. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. So back in action. City still behind, but this game very much a contest. Diesch. It is advantage Manchester City here. Holland. And the advantage is with City. Well, he was very keen to give them the advantage, but instead it will be a free kick now. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved the yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And Sufati. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Perfect tackle. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, it would have been a chance, but the run was mistimed. Offside. De Bruyne. Holland. Far from a good pass. Robert Lewandowski in the middle. Not to be this time. Now options are plenty. Now able to close down the short. And a tidy ball. It did look on for them, but not to be. Rodri. The ball with Rodri. And Grealish. Given away by City. So nearing the break and Barcelona hold the edge. Stuart, how about your assessment of what you've seen from them in the first half? Well, it's been a good first half so far and they've been the better side, certainly going forward. They now just need to keep playing with intensity right up to the break. Nicely timed tackle. And giving the ball away. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Barcelona have given us away. Bernardo Silva. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. And no problems at all for the keeper. Rafinha. Out of play then. Barcelona throw coming up. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Rodri. De Bruyne now. Mares. Here's De Bruyne. Big chance to get them on terms. Able to close down the shot. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. 
We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory. Plenty of support here. He read the situation defensively and did his job. De Jong, really good block. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, as you can see, he just couldn't get enough on it. He'll be frustrated with that one. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. De Bruyne Walker now Rodri an effective challenge Lewandowski and Grealish now potential danger oh but he's done brilliantly to cut it out Kunde. Ronald Araujo. And the ball with Christensen. Jordi Alba. As the stat shows, Barcelona have had less of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter attacking display. And a bit more defending on their minds here, I think. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. A change in the offing for City. And played short. Holland. Now with De Bruyne, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Keen to take it short here. Grealish and danger still but no it's not going to be an opportunity because the flag is up Kunde and Christensen Jules Kunde on the ball. It's with Gunduan. Kunde. Ronald Araujo. Rafinha. A bit sloppy in possession. Holland. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Gundogan. Goalkeeper has it. 
Pedri. Well timed tackle. Bernardo Silva. Well, and the dying embers of the game, and Barcelona all. Oh, he's power. in behind them here, Derek. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick, and Lewandowski does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power, it's a great finish. So on with the game here, Barcelona on top, and it's turning into something of a trancing. Bernardo Silva. Diaz, Rodri, and now Stones. Ten minutes to go. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Rodri, just the challenge that was required. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Bernardo Silva. Well read to win possession back. Holland. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. And Sufati. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. And he's broken free. And he read it well, intercepting it. And now the wait is over. Barcelona have done it. The Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. It's Barcelona's Champions League. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it? 
with your own supporters. Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.